Hey there, another episode of Marbag. Let's have a look at this one that's come in. It's something that I've always wanted. So yeah, it's um, another Behringer Eurorack module. You're probably thinking, why? What? <laughs> what is he getting this for? Well, this is a um, quite a famous module. This is the 904A. Uh, they brought these out in the 70s for the, the, the Moog modular gear. And this is the low pass filter. So this is kind of the epitome of all the Moog sounds, this low pass filter. This is the 24 dB low pass filter. It's uh, one, one volt per octave, you know, 24 dB. It's, it's the epitome of, of that Moog sound. But this particular recreation by Behringer, um, I like it because what it does is it gives me a, a Moog filter in my Eurorack setup and it's a pretty small sort of form factor. So let's check it out. Actually haven't opened it yet, so um, there is a little bit of stuff in there. We'll grab that in a second. Let's have a look at the module first. Looks like this one may have actually been opened. Put sticky tape on it. I haven't seen sticky tape on the Moog stuff before, on the Behringer stuff before. Anyway, let's keep going with it. All right, there she is. Nice. Very nicely, look, it's like a brushed aluminium. You can see that in the camera there. It's like a black brushed aluminium sort of surface. I like that. Um, let's have a little feel of the knobs. Very, definitely got quality to the feel. There's definitely feedback on those. Yeah, very, very sort of sturdy feeling module, this one. I like this one. This one's good. Um, okay, so that's a power cable. They're only a very short power cable. We've got a little brochure and a couple of screws. So that's that is pretty much it. We don't need that bag, do we? All right. So that's what's in the box. Um, okay. So let's have a quick talk about this. If we have a look at the original. This is the Moog modular version, um, and I'll just move this one to the side. And you can see they're very similar. Obviously, the layout is is quite vertical on this. Uh, you've still got exactly the same inputs and controls. So you've got uh, three control down the bottom, an input and an output. You've got your function um, of your frequency range, your frequency uh, control voltage up the top and your regeneration. Now, for those who have never seen these before, that's basically resonance. Just another name for it. Um, yeah. Now, this particular module itself uh, is going to give you the one uh, three positions, the one uh, hertz to the five kilohertz, the four hertz to 20 kilohertz, and 16 hertz to 80 kilohertz so position three will probably give you the most range um but position two is probably the most common one for most music so we can try those out anyway um yeah what what i'm probably going to use this for is to bring other instruments in um, I found, I've got a Model D, I found a very, very hissy sort of sound, so I'd be interested to see if this has got the same problem. Um, if they've modelled it really closely to the original stuff, it may just be inherent on those circuits, but if it doesn't have a hissy sound, that's actually going to be a bonus for me, because I'm not a real big fan of having to remove hiss in uh, signals in my, you know, after I do the mix and the mastering of, of my tracks. So yeah, it'd be nice to see if that doesn't happen. And the other thing too is kind of what level these signals are. So it should be able to take a line level synth, an external synth, and bring it back out again. That'd be interesting. But the other benefit, I guess, with it too is bringing anything into this and then bringing it out and putting it through something else. And you can we can apply different envelope generators, all sorts of stuff to it. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. All right, let's go check it out.
Thank you.